He's saying that tradition is what is the future of Catholicism. Mm -hmm. But he's saying that in contrast to Rome. In other words, Rome right. is not following tradition. <clears throat> and whoever follows tradition is going to be the true Catholic. The future Catholicism is traditional. Well, that's just an admission that Rome is not preserving the truth and Rome is no longer traditional. So the Roman See has essentially, you know, for all pr uh, pra practical intents and purposes, has defected. And we're going to see Vatican I is very clear that you can't, the Roman See can't defect and it can't bind the whole church into error. Yeah, I will add that if you were Orthodox and something like this was happening in our church, uh, you can kind of make that argument, to be honest. But as a Roman Catholic, when your whole system is based on a central structure, I mean, here's the, here's the question. Uh, if Rome is not traditional, then who is exactly? If, if the central, the church itself is not traditional, its believers can't be traditional either because they are in that structure. They are part of that structure. So if there's anything that's tradition, it's the structure itself. And if And yeah, that's the kind of logical mistake behind i think that statement is that um it always has to be traditional really in this system if you like i understand that they're going to say something like oh uh we don't say that the pope always has to do right things sure but when the pope makes cons consistently makes decisions dogmatic decisions authoritative decisions against what you deem as tradition Maybe in that worldview, you need to think for yourself and say, well, maybe tradition can subsist outside of the main church. But if that's the case, then you're just completely destroying the idea of the church. <laughs> and you're just kind of moving into crypto set of a constant crypto, I think even Protestantism at that stage. I'm not saying you're Protestant by doing so, but it's that's, that's the presupposition behind what you're moving. Whereas we can at least say, you know, it's the bishop failing to preserve the tradition, but it's still preserved in the church. Like, for example, with Florence is a great example. A lot of Constantinopolitan bishops fail to um, keep in with the canons and whatnot, but the laymen held on to it because they are part of the church structure. In the Roman Catholic Church, laymen really aren't that big of a part, to be honest. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem to be that case. Father Deacon, did you want to comment? Yeah, I wanted to bring up and. So what you might be noticing, too, is an attempt to kind of cope and deal with this, that people will kind of do these red herrings of pointing out uh, the obvious problems that we're having you have in problems orthodoxy. Too. <laughs> yes, exactly. And I like uh, what David had to say that, well, first of all, let's just state problems... <laughs> Just like we say certain things aren't mortal equivalents, there aren't equivalents between Rome, the problems in Rome and the problems in orthodoxy precisely because we don't hinge everything on the office of one bishop. <clears throat> yep. We're decentralized. And that, guess what, makes all the difference. But I want to come back to what David said. I thought that's really good. Isn't that amazing and a great testimony to the truth of orthodoxy is that despite bishops erring, we right. preserve the tradition. Good point. That's a really good. And so um, I like that you said that, David. The Francis Vatican II is magisterial. So we can't have a refuge in saying, oh, well, I'm just not going to follow that. I don't accept those as magisterium. I mean, at that stage, what do you even follow? Right. Well, it's up to each private Roman Catholic yeah. individual decisions. And as we saw, Casti Canubii, paragraph 104, says that you don't have the right as a Roman Catholic to decide what you are going to pick as the magisterial teachings and what are not. That's not your decision to make. Yeah. And I just saw this in the in the discord. Someone said that in in the should we say, is the, I, I don't know, uh, some some guy one of these tradcast streams the big tradcast guys one of the particularly unintelligent ones <laughs> he's opened up with this stream saying that this is worse than the babylonian captivity and avignon papacy i mean that's how like that's how bad 
It is for them. Well, at that apparently. point, I would ask just very, just very simply, um, you know, the key issue here is not debating the uh, infallibility or fallibility of this and that claim and statement. The issue is indefectibility because what's implicit in Matt Frad and all these people's admissions is that Rome has defected. I mean, that's, yeah. that's what the SSPX de facto position is, even though they still want to be uh, in communion with the Roman See. They are mm -hmm. essentially admitting the Roman See has defected and dogmatically taught error for the last 70 years. 65 year whatever it is okay well then rome has defected right and vatican one's very clear rome cannot defect cannot defect mm -hmm. about uh what constituent elements the roman sea must have and will have at all times until the end of the world and so again the set of a conscious thesis is not a tenable option either we did a whole three hour stream on that which uh, i can link again but if you've not seen that if you want a book uh, our good friend John Pontrello has a great book on this. It's called The Set of Acontis Delusion, where he goes into detail explaining how Set of Acontism, just like the SSPX position, is not tenable in regard to, uh, to Vatican I. And what Vatican I says about the perpetuity of the Roman See, that it will have living successors until the end of the world. It can never lose its visible Roman uh, uh, Petrine uh, office in terms of having an actual successor it can't lose that if it did it would lose a lot it would lose its very visible constituent components it would not have the necessary components to ensure that perpetuity and indefectibility if rome apostatize right the roman sea can't apostatize according to vatican one it's very